Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic Pals. Hello. Hello Charlotte. You alright? Hello. It's been a while hasn't it? Yeah. It has been a long time. I want to do some show and tell for everyone. Um, actually no I'm going to pick up my luggage. Uh, so basically on my series I've been doing some blood magic as usual and I have got some more sigils to show you. Last time I actually um, showed you the division sigil was it? Which showed you my life points. So, if I put some more life points in, there we go. My max is 25,000, which is brilliant. I can fly now, so um, right click with my air sigil. I can now fly. All right. I can fly too. <laughs> you can fly too using morph, but this is using my own blood as magic, which is really cool. I also have like a water sigil, so uh, how, how can I show this off? Um, let's do it over here and water there we go I also have sigil green growth which is basically my very own bone mill so boom Just bone mill I can activate it and it counts as like an aerial bone mill which is really cool but it uses up quite a bit of blood so I'm going to um, keep it that way so what have you done Charlotte um, well I'm just breeding my chocobos at the moment oh I got another green one Oh, okay. Uh, I need it to be. Fe oh, it's a male and cannot breed. Ah, all right. Don't don't kill it. Why? Why would you do that? Don't don't kill the chocobo. No. No. Oh, why? Why? I'm only keeping the ones that can breed because they're the only useful wow. ones. Wow. Wow. All right. So um, I'm going to show everyone what I've done with my formcraft building or our formcraft building. Uh, I've added a little roof area using carpenter's wedge slopes and just chiselled wooden plank. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you will be. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, this is basically the same. I've used some chiselled cobblestone. Upstairs, we have a little area just for, like, more storage, I guess. And then further on into Formcraft, basically, there's a bit where I have to make sort of like a ritual area. So, I was thinking of doing it up here. So, that's pretty much what I've done. What have, you, what have you been up to? Um, down here I made the place where I'm going to put my witchery circle. So nice. Uh, gave it a little bit of decoration. And then right. in here nice. I have a tiny little witchery shed. Oh, oh my god. This is quite cosy. Um, if you look into the crafting like a little station, hobbit. it says it makes soft, soft clay, clay jars. If you want to take them out and put them into the furnace, right? what you get is clay jars, which are what you right. need to... Basically, you make a witch's oven, and then you smelt the. Um, you s I know you smelt. Oh, what's it called? Saplings. Oh, saplings down into um, like wood ash and stuff. And you, if you have the jar in there, you get a small chance of making uh, stuff like breath of goddess and stuff like that, which you need for more witchery stuff. Right. Okay. So you're going to be starting witchery this session, and I kind of want to oh thank you it's too loud for me oh is it okay i want to start doing form craft basically so i'm just trying to sort out my hot bar so have you got your um for my meter on you uh i do one second i'm just making a because basically last session oven. i i basically scanned loads i scanned absolutely loads and off camera i scanned quite a bit but you didn't scan a lot, did you? No. I, I, I've got a few aspects, but not like loads. So basically what I've done is I've sort of set up this little uh, formic training area. So you can sort of scan things. And I've pretty much got them in the right order. Oh, God, uh, I need food. Where's my saplings? Okay. Ah, I have the wrong saplings you gave me. Oh, really? What saplings were they? Uh, I think I need... Um... Well, I have to make mutundus first. Right. Um, f and for that, I need... Oh, nice. you got a witch's oven. Yeah. Uh, mu if I can spell it right. Um, for mutundus, I need a hint of rebirth, which I need spruce saplings for. Oh, right. Okay. So. All right. Well, before you do that, I just want to show you this little formic area. I'm on my way. Right, so basically what you do is you open up the chest, grab the coal and chuck that on the ground. Now scan that. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now put it back in my chest. Okay. Now take out. Actually, I'll take out a bottle. There you go. You scan the bottle. Yeah. There you go. Uh, now scan the torch. Sorry, you're meant to scan the torch first. Uh, yeah. You got that? Now uh, scan the trap door, I think. Yeah, shift click. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I got that. And now if you come over to this grass block here, if you scan that, you should be able to... I've already scanned grass. Oh, have you already scanned it? Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So now if you uh, scan this earth shard... <clears throat> oh. Oh, yay. And if you scan this fire shard, I need to scan this. Oh, yay. Uh, stuff. And this air shard. Do you have a water shard? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, no. <clears throat> now, you should be able to scan this glass block. Yeah, got it. Now onto Mossy uh, Stone. Oh, wait, no, you're in the way. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Oh, wait, can I scan you? Oh, hang on. Oh, Google? No, no, I can't. Oh, I doubt. Yeah, I got the mossy stone. Uh, now move on for soul sand. Yep. <laughs> nice. Uh, now try the amber. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to <clears throat> check it out? Oh yeah. Sorry. Wait. I... You got it. Oh wait. No, you. You've taken it. Okay. There you go. Oh. Now scan the amber. Yeah, I got that. Nice. And now we're gonna move on to paper. Have I got paper? Yeah. Oh yay. So you got brains. Uh, now, if you sort of just scan this mushroom. Got it? Uh, I think so. I don't know if you picked it up or not. Okay. Scan this mushroom. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, now try scanning the creeper head. Ooh, yay. That gave me loads. Yeah, it gives you loads. Uh, now try the gunpowder. Which is just basic. Yep. Got it? Yeah. Uh, obsidian, which, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And finally, yeah, the glowstone. Oh yay! All right, nice. So now, I've basically, that's most of the basic elements that I've got as well. So we're pretty much caught up to date with Formcraft. Now, this episode or this uh, session, I want to make us both a pair of goggles of revealing, which kind of helps us. Can you scan that? Oh no. Oh no you can't. Uh, Google's are revealing which helps us both find nodes in the world. Oh that's cool. So I have the research here and I know to complete, you have to do like little mini games to like link them all up. There we go, nice. Google's are revealing, done. So now if I go into my Formonomicon I click on it, it shows me how to make it. So it's two gold, two formic meters, and some leather. Formic meters are shards, glass, and gold. So a lot of gold. So here we go. Um, wait, how do you how do you make them again? Let's come over to here. Just going around the world scanning things now. Oh really? I think that's the best thing you can do. Right there we go. Okay, so I've made four formic meters. Ooh. Now I have to make, I think. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. It costs um, costs like points to make them. Uh oh, it's starting to get dark. Is it? So how much is it actually in my wand? Not enough. So I have to go out exploring to find stuff in my uh, to fill up my wand. I'll come with you. I've got food on me, so. In okay, case you nice. Get all right, I'm asleep. Oh, I wanted to fight some zombies. Okay, we can do it next night. I wanted to go hat hunting. Oh, hat hunting, nice. 